and skim through the text, but you're not cheating, you're not reading it. And think, what is the genre of this text? I'm gonna go ahead and do a poll for you guys to tell me the genre of this text. How, how do I make a poll? Here's a poll. And let's choose one, close reading. Tavoy, get ready to click. Is it fiction, nonfiction, or poetry? Three, two, one, and go vote. Ooh. What do you think? Let's take 30 seconds. Oh, I see Maxwell voting. Adriana is going to vote. Ooh, Annie's ooh. going to vote. This is a real democracy here. Oh, okay. We have 16 votes. Let's take 10 more seconds. Make sure you have evidence. Wow, most of us are leaning towards one type of text, Maxwell. I think you got it because I think I saw what you voted. All right, we're going to end it right here and I'm going to share the results. Can you guys see it? Yeah. 90% of you think this is nonfiction. All right, I wonder what is your evidence? What is your evidence that this might be nonfiction? Go ahead, Elon. This is nonfiction. This this will be, this is nonfiction because he's gonna tell us all about all about the bread world. Okay, I'm kind of convinced, but I'm not totally convinced. Let's see who can convince me that this is nonfiction. Let's go ahead with my friend Naomi. I can't wait to hear what you have to say as well, Ava. Go ahead, Naomi. I think I I know it's I know it's nonfiction because because I see it's teaching true information about different types of bread. Amazing. You said it's teaching true information and you didn't even say I think. You were like, I know, Miss Ospina. So what am I gonna think about as I read this nonfiction text, Naomi? You're gonna think of, well yeah, we're, gonna think, we're gonna think about um we're gonna think about um we're going to think about different types of bread in the world. Well, but if I'm reading any nonfiction text, there's always two thinking jobs I think about. Who remember what our nonfiction thinking jobs are? Yamlet, can you sit up and come closer? Because this is about a delicious little topic, all right? What are our nonfiction thinking jobs? Let's go with Riley. Do you remember them? Um, the, the, can you repeat the question? What are our nonfiction thinking jobs, Riley? Our nonfiction thinking jobs are, are, our author, our author mostly teaches and the point of view. That's amazing, Riley. And Esmeralda, she's agreeing with you. She's shaking her head. That she's showing me that she is listening to you. So as I read this, I need to think about what is the author mostly teaching and what is the point of view. Something that many of you said, Eric, is this is all about Red Autumn. Hmm. Let's see if we are correct. The first task that we're going to have is to figure out what in the world is this about? Meaning, we're going to find the topic. What are we going to find first, Emma? Well, we're going to find first. What we're going to find first is. What I find our author most. No, what we find first is the topic. What do we find first, yeah, Riley? Riley yesterday. The red, um, yesterday. Um, we, we learned a what we, really, what find, do we find first. What we is, find it's when Riley. Yeah. What do we? What are we gonna find first? We're gonna find first in the text is what the author, what the author mostly teaches. No, first we're going to find 
the topic. What are we going to find first, Riley? We're going to find the topic. Great. Emma, what are we going to find first? First, we're going to find the topic. Fantastic. I want you to think about what is the topic of this text, right, Leah I? You look great. Now let's focus on the bread. Grab your pencils. What about bread will I learn about, Rachel? Rachel, do you like bread? Me too. I actually love bread. I know honey bun is a type of bread, and that is one type of bread I absolutely love. Let's figure out what about bread am I going to learn about. Ready, Sofia Garcia? Great. As I read it out loud, you read it as well. How many ways do you eat bread? You might have toast with jelly at breakfast, a cheese sandwich for lunch, and a roll with dinner. Bread comes in many delicious varieties. What is our topic? What is our topic of this text? Go ahead, Suleiman. It's about bread. Great, and what about our my topic that I just learned about, Suleiman? That bread comes in many different ways. And we know now that bread comes in different ways. Thank you, Suleiman. And that is true, because I've had some bread that is sweet and some bread that is salty. So bread comes in different ways. Great job. As Shout we out. continue reading, oh, go ahead. Oh, I just see Nardis and I see Ava and Yamalet. They're also annotating the text. That shows me that they're really listening. So shout out to them. Great. I want to see that from Daryl as well. All right. As we continue reading, Quincy, please sit up. I am going to think about what about my topic am I learning about? I know my topic is something about bread. So I'm going to ask myself, what about bread am I learning about? First, I learned bread comes in different ways. I wonder what I'm gonna learn next. Put your finger on paragraph number two, Khadija. Oh, I see someone in San Francisco. Bread is made with few basic things, grains and liquid. That's why almost every culture has a kind of bread. In addition, people can make bread with products that grow well where they live. For example, bread is made with corn in Mexico and with wheat in the United States. What about bread that we just learned? We're going to stop. We're going to show me your hand. Stop. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Quincy. And think about what about my topic did I learn about? Once I have it, touch your nails three times. <clears throat> Ooh, is touching your nose three times. Great, Esmeralda is, Abby is, Quincy is, Angel is. What about bread? David, smile. What about bread that I just learned about, Angel? We just learned that bread, that bread, that bread is made of corn from Mexico and the United States. Great, so that shows you that bread can be made with the same thing or with different things, Angel? With different things. Great, I learned how bread is made. Let's continue reading and see what are the main things about bread, because this is my topic that I'm going to learn about. Raise your hand if you like bread. Yep, Adriana, you like bread? I see you eating some bread too. That apple. I like those text to self connections you're making right now. Let's continue reading, David. David, on your text. There are two basic kinds of bread. Bread made with yeast and bread made without yeast. Yeast needs to rise before baking, so yeast bread takes longer to make. Bread without yeast does not have to rise before baking. What about bread that we just learned about? What is the main thing about bread that we just learned about? Oh, I would love to see a Boston College scholar who is going to represent from BC. Hey, come here. Hey, me. Go for it. Um, we, well, we just learned 
turned about on this page, on on this part of this of this of this nonfiction text is is that is that there are different kinds of bread like yeast bread and no and bread without bread. Yeah, that's exactly what I wrote. I wrote bread with yeast and bread with no yeast. So now I know there's really two kinds of bread. Great job. Let's go ahead and take five seconds and jot it down. Notice how my jots are not very long. They're very short because I know I don't have time to jot so much. Yes, Maylee? You have, I don't have the close reading. All right, so you can just, you're going to take a blank piece of paper and you will be writing the main idea at the end, okay? Great. All right, Riley, you ready? Give me a thumbs up because I, your brother told me that you like bread a lot. We're almost done, all right, buddy? All right, put your... Hands on almost. Here we go, Adriana. Here we go, Abigail and David. Then we'd love to hear from you next. I tell you too. Almost a thousand years ago, the people who spoke Old English used the word loaf or loaf as their word for bread. The word Lord came from loaf and it meant one guard the loaves. Loaves. That shows how important bread was at the time. Later, the word would become love. Oh, I wish I was a guard of the love. The word bread came into English later. It came from the German word rum. The word may also come from an old English word that meant beets or pieces. It then came to mean pieces of bread. Finally, bread came to have the meaning we know today. What about bread was this about? Oh, I see Abby's hand. Adele, I see you going back to the text. Ethan, go ahead. Representing from Santa Barbara, DJ Ethan. Go. What? 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 Now about bread is that bread have, have old English words? The word bread comes from old English words. Great. So I actually, this was all about not, oh, it was about the history of the word. Because words, they have a history, right, Ms. Garcia? Like if you look up your name, your name has a history. Well, the word bread also has a history. I'm going to keep reading and see if I can find the author's point of view. What about bread am I learning? Ready, Athena? Athena, you ready? Give me a thumbs up once you're ready. Great. At the end, those of you that are listening very carefully, we'll get to share what is your favorite type of bread. Bread is often shaped into loaves. However, it can also be shaped into discs called flatbreads. You probably know one type of flatbread, which was first made in Italy. Mm -hmm. When it is topped with tomato sauce and cheese, it's called, drum roll please, it's called pizza. And pizza means pie in Italian. Bread is an important part of people's diet. That's because it doesn't cost a lot to make and it can be served in many ways. No matter how you slice it, bread is delicious. What about bread did we just learn about? Ms. Manasi, you've been enjoying this text so much. Go for it. I learned. I learned that, I just learned that. You got it. I just learned that pizza, I mean, I just learned that Area. A type of bread and it means pie in Italian. Exactly, Aisha, please stop that. You're right. 
Bread is a type, I mean, pizza is a type of bread and it's a type of flat bread. Great. What about, about bread did we learn? What else about, what else? It wasn't just a pizza. There is one more very important detail. What was that detail that was important about bread that we learned? Ooh, let's see. The number of right hands right now. Yeah, so we know. Also, another another a part about this text that is also on the last on on this last stanza, they oh there wait, there. and yeah, and and they call it the they call but an important part because it, it helps people for their diet. Exactly, bread is important for many people's diet. Does everyone think that? Because I just told my mom, mom, let's have a honey bun for breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Because I think bread is important. And my mom said to me, you crazy girl? So what would we at tell this part of the text? That's the what. What do we call when people, not everyone, it's not a fact. Is a what, Khadija? It's not a fact, but it is a because not everyone thinks bread is an important part of our diet. So uh, what do we call them? We call that Ready, Narayan and Malia. Go. Oh, we call that. We call that. We call it. We call it bread. Bread. We call it bread, and then other people call it in, in different many in different many ways. Right, so now I want you to think of writing. In writing, you are writing what kind of pieces? Ariel. Oh my God! Go, Ariel. Lauren, what did you say again? What comes from your head that we're writing and writing? <gasps> what comes from your head is, is, is your opinion. Yeah. Whose opinion is this? That bread is an important part of diet. Because it's definitely not my mom's opinion. Whose opinion? Is the author's opinion. Exactly. So we figure out the author opinion in this text. Great. Now we're going to move on to our main idea. First, we need to identify the topic. The topic, I think that's very, very easy, right, Athena? Right, Jacob? And what was my topic again? Let's choose Eric. Eric, what's the topic of this text? The topic is... The, the topic is the the topic is bread is important. Yeah. Now this is what you're gonna do. What are the main three facts about bread? You're gonna go back, look at your annotations, and jot them down. When we get to our breakout rooms, your teachers will be checking your main ideas. Malia, I mean, May Lee, this is what you can do since you don't have the text in front of you. Brian Lee, you are doing so great. Sit up straight and go ahead and jot down your main idea for this text. Go. Wonderful. Mrs. Espina, do you want us to go to breakout rooms now or do you want to give them a minute? Um, we can start going as they are jotting. Great. You're still writing down your main idea as we um, go to our breakout rooms. <laughs> 